Well, hello. I hope you are ready for a review. <laughs> Yep, it's the review time! Golly gosh. Alright, let's get on into the review. If you watch on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe, Twitch, all that jazz, I'll do all the rest of that info later, all the follows and stuff. But it's time to do a review of Days Gone. Uh, before I play a game, I try not to look up anything. So on this game, I didn't really look up anything. I didn't see anything. I didn't know anything. Uh, none of that stuff at all. Go on to it, really. Like, I saw, like, a few little videos of, like, zombies chasing dude, I think, from, like, the E3 thing. Um, but didn't really know much. Like, it was just, like, more so of a movie scene than uh, than actual gameplay from what I saw. So, finally getting a chance to play it. I'm, I'm having fun. I'm definitely having fun. Like, this game is enthralling. Um, the world seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. And anyone watching, if you want to share your thoughts with chat, feel free. Um, you know, it's just getting bigger and bigger. So, the map itself, if we, if we go into that for right now, it doesn't let me zoom out any from here. But it's looking like I'm op starting to open up new areas. You know, I went all the way up there, but it doesn't really go much further that way. And then come along this way, it doesn't go much further. But I have a feeling there might be more to this. So the, I do a review for every do, uh, every day I do a playthrough. So I might talk about that in like the next playthrough review as I as I play the game more. And as we unlock more and learn more and everything. But as of right now, I mean, it takes, you know, a good couple of minutes to go all the way up to like somewhere like there. You know, it takes some time to get around this map. And, you know, clearing things out does make it a little bit nicer. You know, I I, th I was definitely noticing I was running into less of the monsters, I'm going to call them. Because I can't, I, I, there's like Freakers, there's, there's different names for them. They're definitely not the same as other zombie type games, uh, you know, that I've run into. Um, I think I can actually, let's see, let's see, I could get some of their names here. Let's see. How's it going? So we got the Swarmers, we got the Newts. And then the rest of them I haven't discovered as of yet here. And I'll talk about that bounties in a, in a moment. So, yeah. So, it's they're definitely not normal zombies. I mean, they run uh, at full speed. Um, they look around for you. The AI in this game is definitely not the clumsiest I've ever seen. Like, you know, it's not kind of like... Um, you know, like, it'll stop chasing you if you hide... And it does look around. Like, the, the NPC does get to a spot and then look around. So it's not just kind of, like, getting to a spot and then just be like, Whoop, and then walking away, really. They look around for a while. And then when you go out into the outside world, there are a lot of these, uh, I will just call them zombies. I think they're called freakers or something like that. Because uh, there's humans that seem to have gone crazy. And then there's just, like, your normal running zombie. So I'm not sure on, like, the echelon of what the heck they are or what they are. Um, I don't fully get it yet, uh, other than there are different levels of uh, competency. So, uh, but that's why I know so far. I'm gonna, I try not to do spoilers, and I don't think that's really a spoiler, that there's different, you know, types of them. You know, um, but yeah, so it's like, you know, getting used to all that and stuff. But let's talk more about, so what is this game? What are you doing? What is, you know, going to be your repetition of, of things to do? And it's, it's pretty fun so far. Uh, let me sniffle quick. Allergies, I apologize. Um, I might just cut that out because <laughs> I can edit it. Um, but so, I probably won't cut it out. So what you're basically doing is you're getting these... So far, I'm getting story missions uh, to go and do. So, like, you know, got that place there again. Getting story missions. I'm going to the places. Kind of like Grand Theft Auto. You go to a place. You do the thing. You know, you kill the stuff. And, you know, you clear the place and everything. But in this game, the main thing that is a repetition is your bike. Your bike is everything in this game and right now i'm at a standstill actually because i have to go back to my base to get some free gas because i'm out of money and so you can run out of money in this game so what i'm gonna have to do 
is I'm going to have to walk around the forest, kill some of these freakers, these zombies, um, you know, so that I can go to the bounty so board much. here and make some money. So it. every one of them you kill, you get a little card, like a bounty card, yeah. you know, for there killing them. So if you kill swarmers, you get five cents and three... Um, trust points because these camps you're also leveling up your trust with them so that you could get items and then the items yes again mainly for your bike so you get performance visual and paint for me i the, the visual and the paint just do not matter that that matters to me after i'm done upgrading my bike i after that that matters but for right now i, I could care less i want my bike to have more gas in it i want it to have everything Get the max speed up, get distance bike, uh, you know, determines distance which enemies can hear the bike. I want to be able to go in nice and silent. But these things are also fettered by your your trust level with camp. So you got to, you know, do the trust level. As you see, that's 800 there just for the engine itself, 1,200, you know. So definitely the bike levels up with you over time, just like um, a skilled tree wood and everything. And then you can buy, like, you know, general hey. stuff from the merchant, like... What's up? you know your normal kind of no supplies and ammo and upgrades and suppressors and health and throwable explosives and i'm Not sure there's gonna be today. more and more there over time right. and then you got your kitchen so if you're doing going out in the world you can gather like you know plant life or animal stuff and you know bring it here and just like the bounties get that stuff easy peasy lemon squeezy and sell it there and then you get trust in the camp and all that jazz and it's all lovely and you make the money and you get xp so also in this game what you have is oh by the way you know it's a playstation title when the touch screen is utilized for moving around in in this in this type of stuff you know it's a playstation like title you know they try and throw that in all the time to just reason out any worth in what the heck that is any worth whatsoever so you got skill tree in this just like in like out of war or anything uh of this type of caliber you know you got survival skills you got range skills you got your melee skills and of course it's up to you of do you want to go ham on just one of them or are you going to unlock you know a bunch of them over time i don't know yet i can't say for sure yet if there's a cap but i highly doubt there is i'm guessing you could 100 percent it and unlock everything by the end of the game which would be lovely there's a lot of cool things in there like uh my favorite one was in the range so far where uh where are you i do focus when aiming range weapon no range weapon more precision where is it the most important one for me there we go uh provides a chance to retrieve some bolts that have been fired from your crossbow i can't find trees often that i could then craft that with because oh yeah there's crafting in this game by the way so you got your skill your your stuff here and then like let's say you have two things wait i unlocked oh yeah so i unlocked a second type of bolt for the crossbow but you need cedar sapling. See that there in the center? You need cedar sapling, you know, or cedar sapling, nest residue, and then scrap. So I'm guessing nest residue is, you know, the zombie nests that you have to burn out and then kill a whole bunch of them. You know, but so you can, for some things you craft. See, so like, okay, for the heels, see, boom, and then I hold that and I craft it. It is a little bit um, much to get used to at first in... Uh, you know, and getting this all going of, you know, going around this wheel and everything and doing everything, you know, such as even detaching your suppressor on your pistol if you want to and all that jazz. You know, it's it's a little bit tedious, but once you start getting used to it, it's cool, you know, but it is a little bit tedious. So you got crafting, you've got a skill tree, you've got a skill tree for your bike, you have the repetition, like I was saying, of having to keep gas in your bike, um... There's a lot going on, and that's just aside from quests. And then on top of that, really just going anywhere, like if I go outside, probably won't be long before I start running into some zombies here, like just by walking out here. So as you see, the forest, it does feel kind of sparse. You know, you have your normal, like, hunting ability. Oh, why is there music playing? Uh-oh. Did I do something? 
Did I do something? I don't hear anything. I don't hear anything. I guess it's just music playing because, like, I'm on the road again or something. Yeah, we must have cleared out stuff pretty good because I'm not seeing anything out here now. Okay. Yeah, we must have cleared out pretty good. Oh, I need that. So this is the tree to make bolts. Very important. Very important. Everything must be cleared out this way. I don't know. Usually there's some, like, pretty quick you'll start seeing them, you know, walking around and stuff. But, yeah, I don't see any right now. What the heck was that sound? Did you hear that? I'm hearing shooting. Who are they shooting? Are they shooting at me? Oh, no, they're shooting at something else. What the heck are they shooting at? What's up, Manny? You need something. You got something to say about it. Hold on. I'll get it. Hmm. Okay. That was weird. That was weird. That hasn't happened before. Um, but yeah, so the repetition, sorry about that randomness. The repetition is pretty cool. This was the guy that was definitely shooting. He is aggroed to all heck. What you shooting at, bro? What you shooting at, bro? You look, you look nervous, man. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous, man. They can't get in here. Wait, do you hear that? Tell me you heard it. I heard it. I heard a monster. Okay. Yali. All right. So, yeah, the repetition is pretty cool. It's not bad. It's pretty fun. But uh, let me get into the problems. Because that's pretty much... For day one, there's really not much else to say. I, I mean, I haven't really unlocked enough yet and everything. You know, I've only experienced a little bit. So, let's talk about the problems I've noticed. There is a little bit... Like, it doesn't feel like the frames are solid. I will say that. There's been a few times where... You know, like riding the bike... And when things are kind of loading in, it, it does feel like the frames drop here and there. Um, which is a little unfortunate. Uh, could be better, you know, for PlayStation, you know, solo title. You know, and sometimes, like, look at his hair here. It's not looking like it's really loaded in. Like, it's kind of very blurry, you know, and fuzzy. You know, even when, like, you go into, like, the stores and stuff. Like, it's kind of like the typical playstation problem where like assets just have issues loading in but the main problem is the sound let's see if we if some of these npcs will start having a conversation here if we can get any of them to do that uh because the sounds in this game it's it's dismal when it comes down to to distance especially it's it's very dismal um like zombies will sound like they're right next to you even though they're nowhere near you it's not letting me run there uh like nowhere near you yet a zombie will sound like it's right next to you you know uh and that happened to me throughout the entire playthrough you can watch playthrough that'll be up to online okay so he's talking Let's walk away. Hell, I don't know. Finally got quiet here. Let's see if we could pick them back up again. Nah, they're just done talking. So it stopped loading that conversation. You know. But it's like, it's... It almost starts throwing you off because you're hearing, you know, a zombie growling right next to you. And especially when you're in, like, uh... A stealth mode part where you're trying to sneak through a camp and you don't want to aggro anybody you know hearing that zombie as if it's right next to you is in a way a detriment to the experience you know it's definitely not like you don't want that you know like that's not what you want to be hearing you know when you're trying to find your way around uh, that's definitely an issue for me um, then the other thing that I noticed for day one, I'm going to try and keep it short. I don't want to go over 20 minutes here. But uh, for day one, yeah, the gas is definitely, unfortunately, um, unfortunately hard to get. You know, uh, since there's really monsters everywhere. 
everywhere you're going for quests and everything, it, it does kind of become like a, a very hard chore in a way for what I've experienced for today. I'm guessing over time it might get better. I did already get the level 2 gas tank, so it's like I didn't feel much of a difference, you know? Because even when you fast travel, because like right now my problem is I can fast travel here, but I need uh, 0.33 gallons, which I don't have. I'm 0.33 gallons away from being able to fast travel there, you know? And that kind of sucks, you know? So your fast travel uses your gas, you know, whatever distance you're going, you know, get ready to, uh, you know, have to have to either hoof it on foot sometimes or, you know, go around, kill stuff and make enough money, which is what I'm going to choose to do instead of running there on foot. Because uh, the bike is kind of integral to to the process because you can you can, you know, save the progress of the game there. You know, you walk up to your bike and you do a quick save. So it's it's kind of important. And then you could also put stuff on it, you know. It, there was one quest I had to pick up an item and then bring it back. But that item, I can't shoot my guns. I can't do anything as long as I'm holding it. But I was able to put it on my bike. So that I could then bring it to where I needed to bring it. You know. So it's kind of like very unfortunate when there's an item like that that you have to do something with. You know, and you're kind of, like, screwed if you don't have your bike. Because then you have to run the whole way back with zombies in the forest, with monsters, animals, everything ready to kill you. And then on top of that, you have to drop this item, kill the stuff, sneak around, kill the stuff, go back, pick up the item, then continue along your way. And the way the zombies are in this, they do keep on spawning. So you kill one, and then all of a sudden, now, like, there's two there. And then you kill those slowly... You know, stealth mode. And then there's now two on the outskirts coming in. So it's like... It's a very persistent game. You know? But... Other than that, like, I'm enjoying it. That Like, those to me aren't game-breaking. You know, it just, you know, makes it a little bit harder. It's definitely making you feel like you're in a post-apocalypse. And that... You know, just... You can't just travel everywhere you want to. You know, like Red Dead Redemption 2... You just travel everywhere you want to on the horse, pretty much. You know, in this, you're not checking out the map. But I, I though, the map, though, doesn't look like it's going to be Red Dead Redemption 2 size. Which, you know, is unfortunate. But, hey, what can you do? What can you do? But, right, I'm going to leave the review at that for day one. Uh, I'll have more stuff on day two and, and so on and so forth uh, for as long as I play the game. Unless a new game comes out that just pulls me away. I'll probably keep on playing. But for the channel, let me know also in the comments, you know, other than what you think about this game, what would you like to see on the channel? Uh, since I'm, I'm looking to maybe make the move to YouTube, I'd definitely like to know what people think. Uh, what version of my content do you like? Because, I mean, we got like 100,000 views on a Fortnite highlight, you know, and then we're getting like 40-something views on, on reviews and then some other highlights again some you know good views and and whatnot so i'm not sure and then uh, a Fortnite news video i made you know it's got hundreds of views so it's like i'm not sure what people would like to see like since i'm you know making the move over to it i'd like to know what should i do like you know i'm trying to figure out what content i'd like to create because you know i just feel like i need to change the content i'm making instead of just doing live streams I kind of like sitting down and maybe editing a video here and there, or just sharing my thoughts about news stuff that I see, you know, but taking the time to maybe get my thoughts together instead of, like, how this is a live review. Like, taking the time to get my thoughts together on something and give a, a very earnest try to review as much as I can about that topic and, you know, do... I, I hate saying deep dive. I don't know why. I just don't like that term. That and, like, TLDR... Like, I don't know. Those two terms to me, just like, ugh, I feel so cringy. But let me know. I'm definitely kind of curious what what you'd want to see, you know, uh, what, what content you enjoy. And if there's anything maybe I'm not even thinking of, you know. And also let me know how you found the channel. You know, that one Fortnite video, is, it's unbelievable. Unbelievable. That it's over a hundred thousand views. That's I still till this day, 
am just like, I can't believe I have a video that has, you know, 10 views, 20 views, one view. You know, when I made my first videos on YouTube way back in the day on, on a different channel, you know, it was like kind of like, you know, if like five people see this, that'll be kind of cool. You know, because like I'm one video out of like a, a sea of videos, you know, and it's like, like my brain just can't, just still can't fathom it. Just can't fathom it. Like, how did a hundred thousand, you know, like, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I really, I really appreciate y'all. I ended up going 20 minutes again anyway. I'm going to try and get these reviews down shorter. But let me know what you think. Let's get chat going in, in the chat there. And uh, I hope to see you soon and whatnot in more videos and stuff. But thank you for watching. Bye 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 bye. Like, comment, subscribe, and follow if you dare. <laughs>